Hello, welcome back. So now that we have learned and understood the apprehensions associated with communication, what are the myths associated with um, communication apprehension and how do we fight back and not fly away, now it's the time to build confidence. And we have seen this in previous um, lesson also in level one also. But now again, you know, bringing that, wearing that hat of a seasoned speaker, we are going to see how do we now use techniques and strategies to show confidence and become confident while we are talking. So it's all about becoming confident in front of the audience on the stage. Okay. So this is what we are going to discuss, developing courage. And uh, as I told you, public speaking is, people are so fearful about speaking or communicating that they feel that, you know, dying is more uh, easier than talking in front of public. And that is a study that has been found. That is why this word courage that you need. Okay and self-confidence. So how do you develop courage and self-confidence if you want to become an awesome, awesome speaker? Okay. Now let's spend some time on each of these points and uh, find out that how do I first fight my, uh, show courage and then show confidence. And it's about showing confidence to the audience. Your audience should not feel that the speaker or the person who is talking to us lacks confidence, lacks knowledge, lacks depth. That is one signal that you would never want to give to your audience. Okay. So for that reason, that now that you have understood the apprehensions and that understanding of apprehensions can help you fight with your fears and show confidence. That is what I'm going to tell you. And this is the only slide, so do not worry, but we're going to spend some time on each of these points and find out what is the right way to do this. Now, uh, you remember I had said that when you are preparing for your speech, there should be the, the topic that you come up with, you do a lot of research and before research, you come up with, the, uh, with some um, associated ideas, main ideas, similar uh, fashion, when you've decided your topic, you follow for your speech uh, preparation also. So you have to use the same thing and um, be persistent. Persistence means you will have to whatever you are saying, there has to be weightage and depth in that. Okay. So start with a strong and persistent desire. When you start, just take some time and think about people who, are, who you have heard and who you like to hear, who you like to always listen to, not hear, but listen to because hearing uh, is not active listening. Listening means when you're giving your heart and soul, of course, your ears to the speaker. Think about the moment they come up on stage, the way they start, the way they talk, the way they uh, put across their beliefs, self beliefs, values, their points, you automatically, they automatically win the, uh, your hearts and you feel that, okay, there is something that I have learned from this communicator or from the speaker. So you will have to start with a strong and persistent desire to take, let them take some action or to give some information to them. That should show in your, uh, in your body language, in the way you talk, in the way you walk, in the way you present yourself, the way you have dressed. All of these things combined together makes your audience feel connected, makes your audience get inspired from you. Okay, so you have to be very, very persistent that yes, I can do. This is what I'm here to tell you. This is what I want you to learn. That persistence should show, should come in your, through your verbal as well as nonverbal communications. Okay. That desire. So you are trying to help people. You are trying to uh, leave them with a thought. You want to... Uh, just keep a seed or put a seed inside their mind that if you want to, if you want them to take any action. So you remember we had said that there could be speeches wherein you want them to take actions. I mean the, the final outcome of any speech or you just want to give them some information. So likewise, they should feel that, okay, the speaker really is um, excited about whatever he's saying. So you will have to start and we will see in the subsequent lessons and sections, how should you open, close talks and all that. So that is going to help you give the talking points, but you should start with a persistent desire that I am here to share my knowledge. I am here to share certain ideas, concepts. I'm here to make you take some actions. So that should come out as I told you earlier also through how you speak, how you behave on stage. Okay. And this again brings you back to that practice thing. And it's all, it all starts from choosing your topic till the time you have delivered your speech. Know thoroughly, and this is very important, know thoroughly what you're going to talk about. And while you're speaking also, you should 
just you, that is a technique okay your mind and your uh, tongue is connected so even when you are talking you should uh, know what you are talking you do not you should not just lose track and go from one point to another point okay so you should know thoroughly what you are talking the knowledge that you have gathered and that you are trying to spread or share with your audience should make you a make uh, make your audience feel that yes this person is worth listening to is worth spending time with okay so you should know what you're talking you should have your data points in your hand you should uh, the the belief and uh, faith that i had talked ab uh, about in the previous lessons that should come out that should uh, showcase that should be showcased to your audience and then then only they'll be able to connect with you and that also makes you confident when you are thoroughly aware of whatever you are going to talk about okay like i'd given an example of uh, this um, uh, rain water harvesting you remember now if i do not have the belief the faith or knowledge or techniques that are required for rain water harvesting the audience will not be able to connect with me i will not be able to show that confidence to them so when i lack depth and knowledge how do i expect my audience to take some action or for that matter listen to me okay so for that reason the thorough knowledge on the subject that i am talking on should be 100% okay there shouldn't be any um, derailment of my thoughts it should all come crystal clear and this is something that seasoned speakers know how to do you should act confident at times there are speakers who do not even have the right content but they know how to act confident they can show when they are talking they can show that yeah they are confident and this all comes through practice of course whatever you are talking however you are behaving it all comes through practice the more you do the more the better you get at it so act confident um certain tips for this when you dress smart okay or when you um, walk while you talk at times depending on the situation again not when you are giving a speech where you have to stand at one place but let's say you have an opportunity to move uh, or cover the stage do that should feel confident you know when you are standing with your body posture you should look confident so act confident so that people know okay even if you do not have that knowledge maybe but you can show your confidence i remember i'll not name the actor there was one um, sports event i think ipl where in one of a very successful bollywood actors was chosen for uh, be becoming the mc i mean he was uh, hosting the whole show this actor is a very confident actor not uh, i mean you can search for him i'll not name him but during that particular hosting ceremony the opening ceremony it was a disaster he could not come up with right points he could he didn't he didn't know what to talk maybe he he lacked knowledge he lacked depth and the audience was uh, audience was literally exasperated i mean what are you talking about is what the is this the same guy we uh, love watching on screen so when you do not uh, even so there are two things to it even with content if you uh, when you do not have content even if you try to act smart or confident sorry not smart is not the right word you want to act confident you might not look confident okay but then there are techniques and strategies through which you can make yourself look confident he didn't do that he couldn't do that he couldn't do that despite being a confident actor he couldn't do that that is one false um, you know uh, fallacy that he had and that is where audience were put off and we just wanted him to at, uh, at one point in time audience felt that let's let somebody else come and take the mic okay he did not try to act confident and the moment you feel you the first start that you do and then you have lost track or you do not know how to act confident automatically the audience gets disconnected so act confident but then yeah when i have said that uh, times sp speakers do not have the knowledge still they act confident do not try to do that that can happen with people who are you know at a position wherein they can play around but you can't you will have to rely on your knowledge your depth your beliefs your um, virtues your values but act confident make them feel that you are confident that is what i wanted to say and then there is no denial of the fact that this is going to make you successful not only in communication public speaking across any vertical across any level across any stream that you choose you will have to keep on practicing and confidence also doesn't come at one go confidence also comes with practice so you remember that in the previous lesson i told you that you will have to keep on doing this so that you face your fear so keep on talking keep on facing the crowd keep on facing the audience take advantages of situation uh, take opportunities come to you if opportunities uh, opportunities do not come to you grab those 
okay nominate yourself for events so that you know what to talk you know how to talk and then you know how to behave confidently so these were several points that i wanted you to uh, harp on and keep in your mind in order to develop that speaker's mindset and act confident in front of your audience so i'll see you in the next lesson thanks for watching